What up, world? I am Dwayne Langham. This is the Av, YOLO Av, the Road Leash Travel. And you have just tuned in for another edition of YOLO Av One Take. Today we're going to chop it up on a quick discussion I have about identity, character building. You see, one way or another, the words that you're telling yourself are either breaking you down or building you up for your future. We've all had those moments where you're going to process however reality goes down. An event happened, something that you want to happen takes place, and there's a story going on. There's something that you're telling yourself about that exchange of events. Now, I myself personally have always been a firm believer of affirmations, building up your character, and it's something so simple. It's just like being your biggest cheerleader. You have to think about it. You're going around all the time, every day, taking in words, thoughts, images. People talk about it all the time. How hard is it for people to have high self-esteem for women, for men nowadays, looking at magazines, looking at ads, looking at all the advertisements out there. You're listening to the radio. You're listening to music. You're listening to celebrities, celebrity gossip, celebrity news. It leaves you feeling a certain type of way about yourself. Well, the thing to remember is it's very important that you keep an identity based in there. We've talked about it a little on the brainwashing topic, but this is along the lines of what messages are you sending yourself? I've got clients that I'm coaching that currently are going through situations where too much external stimulation is what's telling them who they are, how they need to be, how they need to react. You may have heard of a self-fulfilling prophecy, a masochist or a person who doesn't believe in themselves. A person who's got low self-esteem is always going to tell themselves that it might not work out. You know, she might not want to talk to me, so I better not even ask for the number. There's no chance I deserve getting that job. There's no chance that I'm going to be lucky enough to get that job. Does sound like some familiar self-talk you might have with yourself? Well, see, the thing is, is what that's doing is building up your identity, your character, what you expect for yourself, what you deserve for yourself, the energy that you put out into the world. Well, guess what? The world is going to give that energy back. Then you become the doormat, the person always passed over for the promotion, the person who always gets stuck in the friend zone. So what you have to start doing is giving yourself a personal cheerleader, building up your identity, who you are in your character. Turn off those negative images that aren't telling you the things that you need to hear. If that music, dare I say monkey music, you know what I'm talking about. If it's not doing anything to help build up your character, build up who you are, make you feel good and positive about yourself, maybe you need to limit or keep it down to moderation. Now, I don't know if I've elaborated on it before. Affirmations are simply the practice of saying, writing, reading, listening to positive messages repeated to yourself. I, Dwayne Langham, am a king among men. I, Dwayne Langham, am royalty walking amongst the community. I, Dwayne Langham, possess courage and communication to go out and succeed in the world. It may sound simple, it may sound like a fairy tale, but these things in my early 20s helped build my identity, helped build my courage, my self-confidence, my understanding of myself and my capabilities. Don't get me wrong, it's not to say that all this information is necessarily 100% accurate. That's the whole point. You hold the pen. You're writing your story. You're telling your life and how it's going to go. So why not tell a story that's going to be in your favor? You see, because that person, such as even my client, who's having a hard time breaking themselves down every time things don't go their way, or at least expecting the worst out of life, that's become their identity. So they go on 10, 20 years later, it's going to be even more deeply ingrained. It's going to be even more hard pressed as it already is. They've lived life so far, always telling themselves they're not good enough. They don't deserve it. Look at their life's history. Look at their family's history. What are they going to deal with? How are they going to make any better? And mind you, my client is fairly successful. They've got a great career going. They've got some good things going for themselves in life. They're well accomplished, well educated, but still at the same time. Because of the identity, because of the story they're telling themselves, they negate everything that's there and choose to process only the stuff that doesn't help them. Self-sabotaging attitude, tear apart relationships, tear apart situations and opportunities that could benefit them for the better. Now, I told you about my affirmations, but I want to tell you how easy and simple it is. I've got a five-year-old daughter. I'm sure you've heard her at the end of all of my videos. I think you're beautiful. Right now, a thing that she's picked up doing is celebrating herself. That's right. When something good goes her way, what's the first thing she screams out? Yay me! Now don't get me wrong, it's pretty goofy, but you gotta think about that fundamentally. This is a five-year-old child, so of her life experience, of her social experience, this is what she's learned to tell herself. I am awesome. I am great. 
things are going good because I'm me, because it's supposed to go that way. How simple is that? But think about how many adults, think about yourself, think about the people in your social circles. How many people are going through this world and don't have a little cheerleader? You know, you used to have in the cartoons, they have the angel on the side, the devil on the other side. How many people don't have that cheerleader pumping them up, telling them, hey, you deserve it because it's you. He or she's going to want your number because it's you. Those people are going to benefit in this opportunity and they know that you need to be involved because you're you. Anyway, that was just one of the topics that's been on my heart, helping a lot of people that I'm coaching through and I wanted to share it with the world. Figured you guys can use it in your daily routine, pass it along. Feel free to look up affirmations. As always, I tell you what goes in is what comes out. So pay attention to the music you listen to. Pay attention to the news that you're watching. Pay attention to what you're doing in your life. Don't spend your life sitting on the bench, watching other people in the court, flipping up and down the Facebook page to see what everybody else's updates are. Go out, live, and make some updates for yourself. Go out and appreciate yourself. Have gratitude. Have a desire to go out and make things happen in life. As always, fam, I greatly appreciate you tuning in. Love it when you like, share, and subscribe. As always, you got to pass the word along to anybody you feel can benefit from these kind, good words in their day. It's wishing you the best and only success. Peace. There is no easy way. Now, what does that mean? There is no easy way. Let me give you the best example for exactly what's going on in my life right now. You might notice the attire. I'm in the workout gear. Came up from the garage, getting my sweat on, getting that shape right, get me looking even better for the season. Season for pleasing. This is your life. The only thing you're doing when you're going on vacation, getting away from your life, is getting away from what's not working. And if it's not working, guess what? It's going to be the same thing when you get back. So if you're the type of person that loves your holidays, loves your vacations. Is there anything else you want to say? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> I think you're beautiful. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes.